Every day at Mass, millions of Catholics around the world partake in the Eucharist, also known as Holy Communion or the Blessed Sacrament. This act of receiving the body and blood of Jesus Christ in the form of bread and wine is the most revered part of the Catholic liturgy. But what is the Eucharist? What does it represent? And what are its origins? I'm your host, Carolyn Morrison, and on this episode of Mysteries of the Church, we will explore the beginnings of this sacred ritual, what it signifies, as well as a purported miracle in Italy where the bread and wine had physically turned into flesh and blood. Leonardo da Vinci's mural in Milan is perhaps the most famous depiction of the Last Supper. It is the image of Jesus with his apostles partaking in a traditional Passover meal. Jesus is last before his crucifixion. Essentially, Jesus gathers with his friends in a room that he designates. Um, the traditional Passover meal is celebrated uh, with all of the trappings of uh, that traditional feast. Um, the elements of bread and wine are incorporated into the meal. In the synoptic accounts, meaning Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and their Gospels, he offers bread and wine as a perpetual memorial. Bread and wine that is no longer bread and wine, but his very body and his very blood, so that they might not be orphaned and alone, but might have strength and courage to continue on. But what it also depicts is the beginnings of a Christian tradition that has been ongoing for two millennia. Uh, under the form of both bread and wine is traditionally understood to have been given to the church uh, through the apostles by Jesus at the Last Supper. And at least from the Gospels, we're told that Jesus says a blessing over the um, elements, that blessing is then um, taken up in subsequent writing about uh, what happened, and the, the action of repeating this on Jesus' command, do this in remembrance of me, or whenever you do this, do this in remembrance of me, is something that's carried forward even to this day. It's the start of the Eucharist, Jesus' perpetual presence in bread and wine, truly substantially present now and forever in that bread and wine that becomes uh, his body, that becomes his blood. It's the start of his priesthood and the sharing of that priestly ministry with his apostles and the passing on of that priestly ministry to, through his bishops and through his priests today. It's really the start of all ministry as well on that day. And on Holy Thursday, when we gather as a church to commemorate that at the evening mass of the Lord's Supper, we commemorate all three aspects of, uh, of the Last Supper. For Christians, the Last Supper was the moment when the Passover meal took on new meaning, as it was now to be associated with the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. When we return, we'll trace the history of the Eucharist within the church. <laughs> 